circumstance.
Welcome to the commencement ceremony for the class of 2023. Go ahead and be seated, graduates. Graduates, you can be seated. My name is Kurt Scheidel. I'm the principal of Fort Vancouver High School Center for International Studies. Please help me thank our Fort Band and Orchestra under the direction of Keith Norris for representing our Fort Vancouver High School Center for International Studies program for providing our music tonight. Now, please rise for the Star Spangled Banner sung by Fort Vancouver student Adeline K. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets regular the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the Please be seated. <laughs> Audience, honors guests, parents, guardians, and guests of graduates of the class of 2023, welcome to the 133rd annual high school commencement for the Vancouver Public Schools. <laughs> for Fort Vancouver High School Center for International Studies opened its doors at our current location on 18th Street in 1970. And this is the 53rd cla graduating class from this location. This is a formal ceremony designed to honor our graduating seniors. With this in mind, if anyone has brought items that would distract from the attention of our students on or their ceremony, I ask for your cooperation in refraining from using them during this ceremony. At this type, time, I'd like to introduce those on the stage. Vancouver Public Schools Board of Directors, Sandra Zavala Ortega, Fort Vancouver graduate too, Kyle Sproul, Kathy Decker, Katie Barrows and Wendy Smith. <laughs> Superintendent, Dr. Jeff Snell. And our selected faculty members for tonight, Ms. Elizabeth Prager, Ms. Bethany Rivard, and Mr. Jim Stoda. Ms. Perger will now introduce the top 5%. Good evening. 
In lieu of salutatorians and a valedictorian, Vancouver Public Schools recognized the top 5% of the graduating class. At this time, I would like to introduce you to the top 5% of the graduating class. This year, there are 14 students in the top 5%. As I call their names, I would like them to stand and please remain standing until all names have been read. I would also ask the audience to hold your applause until everyone has been recognized. The top 5% of the class of 2023 in alpha order are Mona Abualia, Hyacinth Bondock, Catalina McCollum Ceballos, Abigail Cisneros, Eileen Diaz Romero, Andre Canivets, Leighton Cruz, Rachel Lebedev, Carla Machi Menchu, Kelly Wynn, Gustavo Pinion Hernandez, Victoria Tran, Jacob Wells, Nelson Zapeda Rincon, and Karis Zumpano. Please join me in recognizing these students. You may be seated, thank you. Will the student speakers please head to the stage? I'm going to introduce our two speakers tonight, and then they will each come up. Our first speaker tonight will be Celestine Maine. <laughs> Celestine not only attends Fort, but is also a Running Start student. Throughout her four years at Fort, she has participated in many different clubs and sports. Next year, she will study, she will study business and entrepreneurship at WSU Vancouver with the goal of one day owning her own real estate business. Our second speaker will be Sophia Landl. <laughs> Sophia has attended Fort all four years in the medical magnet. Next year, she'll be studying nursing at Arizona University with the, with the goal of becoming a family nurse practitioner. Please, please join me in welcoming Celestine and Sophia to the speaker's program. Hi, everyone. <clears throat> Hi, mom, friends, family. First and foremost, I'd like to thank all the teachers and staff that work and engage with the students at Fort Vancouver High School. You guys do not get enough recognition and your hard work does not go unnoticed. I would like to give a special shout out to Mrs. Jennifer Pongras and Mrs. Layla Afu. Thank you, Mrs. Pongras, for nominating me for different scholarships and helping with college and schoolwork. Also, thank you, Mrs. Afu, for always helping me with everything from schoolwork to the many emails I sent just to check in and make sure I was on the right track. This is the day we've all been waiting for, graduation. I really didn't think we'd all get here, so I'm glad we all made it. 
We've all made it to the end goal, and this is what we've been working our whole lives towards. From playing with letter blocks in preschool, to our awkward preteen years in middle school, to doing TikTok dances as teenagers. We've all had a different journey, some more difficult than others, but we've all achieved our first life goal. I will never forget the year 2020 when COVID shut down the world. Like all of you, my freshman year was cut short. And this was also the year when my dad passed away. They say it takes one hour for your life to change. In our case, it was one month. People lost opportunities, homes, jobs, high school experiences, and loved ones, all in a span of a couple of months. For me, it was mentally exhausting. Pretending you're okay gets hard after a while. Throughout that time, some people coped by picking up a new hobby. I played sports. This was how I coped. I remember freshman year when I tried out for soccer and they put me on the team. I was so excited because I thought I was not gonna make it. I remember my dad always stopping by on his way to work to watch me play and I would be so happy because even though I was terrible and did not know a thing about soccer, he always made sure to come and watch whenever it was a home game or we played against Bay. And I also remember freshman year coming to Fort, how Fort Vancouver High had no winnings or state championships. Oh wait, it still doesn't. <laughs> but what we do have are coaches that want the best for their student athletes, teachers that will let you come in to make up work, and counselors that push you to get all your credits in so we can be here tonight. I remember sophomore year when we had school online. I remember being so sad and confused while trying to maintain good grades when it felt as if I would never smile again. And it felt like as everyone was going on about their daily lives, I was stuck standing in the background. It was as if though the sun rose, it did not shine. And although I was living, I was not alive. I remember thinking about quitting and not feeling motivated, but I had to tell myself that I could get through this and that anything is possible. You just have to put your mind to it. And so I pushed myself to study hard, sign up for different sports, even if I wasn't good at them, not care what anyone said about me and stay active. I did this to help myself grieve and push through all those emotions I was feeling with everything that was happening in the world and my life, I had to persevere through. All in all, throughout these past four years, I've learned perseverance is key. When it comes to hardships or setbacks, you have to persevere through. When it comes to assignments that you feel unprepared for, you have to persevere through. When it comes to that test you know you didn't study for, you have to persevere through. When it comes to having no motivation and feeling overwhelmed, you have to persevere through. Because if you don't push yourself and motivate yourself, especially on those days you don't feel like it, then who? But now we are done with the stressful tests and loads of homework. Now we look forward to our future. Now is our time to take on the world. Now is the time to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. And now is the time to find and pursue our passions. And like my dad's favorite actor, Denzel Washington, once said, I say luck is when an opportunity comes and you're prepared for it. If you pray for rain, you also have to deal with mud. So don't just try to make a living, try to make a difference. This includes putting God first, dreaming big, failing big, achieving big things, and being disciplined. I'm more afraid of people who are hesitant and lazy than people who take the initiative and have ambition. So don't be afraid to fail. Without failure, there is no success. 
and success comes from dedication and perseverance. With that being said, congratulations, class of 2023. We made it. Today marks the final end of 12 years of school. As we part ways, I don't know you all, and all of you don't know me. But may we one day glance at each other as our feet fall past each other, and we can say to our kids, I went to school with them. Thank you. Hello, class of 2023. We've made it through a wild couple of years. Roblox, Kanye's downfall, the rise and fall of Among Us, etc. When I was little and people asked what I wanted to be when I grew up, I would answer a teenage Power Ranger. No hesitation. I thirsted for the excitement and freedom that only saving the world in a neon bodysuit could bring. I wanted to go to school and be surrounded by friends during the day and fight crime with those same friends by night. I needed to be well-liked, fun, and I begged for things to come easily to me. As I got older, I realized how unrealistic my dreams were, and when I finally reached high school, my old ambitions lost their meaning. Despite my teen years not bringing any actual big scary monsters for me to battle, it still has had its obstacles. Challenging courses, COVID, first heartbreak, being assaulted, and dealing with a chronic illness. Sometimes, while facing these issues, I wish that the world of Power Rangers was real, that I could just morph into my brightly colored costume and fight off anything in my way. Instead, I'd find myself beaten down unable to get out of bed or engage in class, and thinking to myself, why me? Luckily, I was blessed with my own little crime-fighting team of, consisting of my wonderful friends and was dragged out of my stupor. Now, I think it's important to acknowledge the problems that us seniors have encouraged together, or encountered together. We returned to school with the threat of being shot at while just wanting to learn. With no preventative measures other, uh, added other than security guards and nothing done to actually fix the root of our problem, we came back with alarms ringing in our ears about what to do in case it ever happened. We watched horrified as the news informed us of more and more school shootings. We wondered when our voices would be heard and not ignored. On top of that, COVID hit at an interesting time in our lives. Freshman year, we were led to believe that we'd get to have the normal high school experience, complete with parties, sharing water during PE, and hiding in the library during lunch. We thought we'd be out for two weeks, maybe using that time as an excuse to slack off, and then return to the classroom. We were excited. Sure, the idea of COVID was scary, but at least we didn't have to leave bed in order to go to school. Instead, we were forced onto our screens, something you've probably never expected a team to complain about. We ceased learning in person, and instead, we were made to have awkward conversations online, made worse, or honestly much more entertaining, by poor Wi-Fi connections. We got to make secret chats within the Zooms and make fun of the teacher for walking away from the microphone while talking, or their screen freezing their face into an expression like, the like in the middle of some sort of battle cry. We discovered the fear of unmuting ourselves, even though previously we could not stop talking in class. Online learning brought us both closer and farther apart, and it has taught us the importance of human connection. On a bit of a lighter note, I want to take a moment to acknowledge some wonderful people in my life. I want to start by thanking my family, because without them, I would not have left my home school to participate in the medical magnet. There is no way that without their encouragement, I would have ventured out of my bubble to attend a school where none of my friends were going. I also want to shout out to my friends, old and new, 
and say that I am forever grateful for the uncontrollable laughter as well as the support we've shared, even if we never got to dress up in spine <laughs> vibrant spandex. I also want to express my gratitude to all of my teachers. They have pushed me both directly and indirectly, and I hope they know how much they impact our lives. Thank you for encouraging my curiosity and for putting up with my clumsiness, especially Dunnigan. Lord knows how many times I've fallen off those stools. This year and my previous years of high school have challenged me in ways I never expected. I learned what resilience meant, a word I previously despised due to the context in which it was often thrown at me. I learned how to continue during trying times and that it was okay if I got knocked down so long as I got back up again. So, even if I didn't fight any evil overlords or their minions, I experienced my own hardships, ones that taught me to grow. Because of these experiences, I am content and I know I will be able to face future challenges head on. But as for the present, we're at an interesting age where we're told we can do anything we put our minds to, but that once we do, that we haven't any of the experience required to continue. But that is even more reason to work harder for what we want to achieve, not only for ourselves, but for our communities as well. Now is the time for us, the graduating class of 2023, yeah. to collectively pull up our multicolored suits and band together to save the world. Thank you. Got to make sure I'm in the right spot. <laughs> All right. Now we'd like to recognize some special groups of graduating students. I'd like the entire group of honor roll students to please stand and remain standing while I provide an explanation to our guests. In this class, there are 65 honor roll students. Their honor roll is composed of students who have acquired a grade point average equivalency of 3.3 or better during their four years of high school. These students are all wearing gold cords this, this evening. Please join me in recognizing these students for their contributions to our school. All right. There are also 48 students who have earned the Washington State Seal of Biliteracy, and these are wearing gray cords. If you have the, I mean green cords, if you have the green cords for the uh, Washington State Seal of Biliteracy, please stand. <laughs> through, through rigorous assessments, these students have demonstrated proficiency in at least two different languages. Let's give them a round of applause. There are a number of students who have participated in ASB, AVID, and a variety of extracurricular clubs that served our school and community who are wearing sashes. Would these students please stand? All right. Tonight, you can sit down. Tonight, we have a group of seniors wearing pink cords, signifying excellence and commitment in performing arts. Performing arts students, please stand. The 
last group of students I'd like to recognize are those students involved in our magnets, Programs of Choice, and Skills USA. With the student members of Medical Arts, Advanced Manufacturing, Careers in Education, and Culinary Arts, or who participated in Skills USA, please stand. You can be seated. Thank you all to thank thank you to all our special recognition group of students. Congratulations on your accomplishments. As a Center for International Schools, we believe students need to investigate the world they live in, seek to understand different perspectives, share their own ideas, and then take action. Our Spirit of Fort Award honors one, two seniors who have taken action by demonstrating outstanding service to our school and community. This year, our staff members submitted a number of nominees for this prestigious award and made a decision by staff vote. The seniors who receive the Fort Spirit Award have shown incredible determination and contribution and an, and an impressive amount of time and energy to make their school and community a better place. They have embraced their extraordinary talents of empathy, justice, and compassion to, ch to affect change, and by doing so, they have inspired their peers and all whom they come into contact with to take action and make a positive difference in the world. This year we do have two award winners, and I would like to invite Olivia Anthony and Tavon Vance to come forward and receive your awards. We're getting closer, everybody. The objective of the graduation ceremony is the celebration of achievement. It is intended to challenge and inspire students as they face their future. Thus, we request that the audience please be respectful during the reading of each graduate's name. The audience is also requested to remain seated until all diplomas have been awarded. Ladies and gentlemen, the highlight of this evening's program is the awarding of the diplomas. I would like to present the 375 members of the 2023 graduating class of Fort Vancouver High School Center for International Studies. Oh, don't come up yet, no. No, don't, snacky. Hey guys, not yet, not yet. Sorry, back to your seats. No, really, you'll want to go back to your seats. No, really, you want to go back to your seats. That was super awkward. But that's okay. Because these students are all recommended by the faculty administration to receive their diplomas this evening. And at this time, I would like to introduce to you Vancouver Public School Superintendent Jeff Snell for some remarks. Good evening, Fort Vancouver High School community. Uh, 
just uh, want to appreciate the families and friends. Like you can feel the Fort love in this uh, space tonight. So thank you all for being here and supporting these students. And to our graduates, I want you to know how proud our school district is of each and every one of you. Each of you has a unique story of making it to this day. All of your stories include meeting the graduation requirements of Fort Vancouver High School, the state of Washington, and much, much more. They are stories of persistence, stories of compassion and care. They are stories of seeing the world with optimism and hope. They are stories of great joy and sometimes challenging pain. Your stories inspire us and give us great hope for our future. We want you to continue to be learners and continue to be curious about what can be instead of what cannot. Thank you for sharing these first few chapters of your story with us and our best to you as you write the rest of your story. It is my honor to introduce to you former Fort Vancouver High School graduate and current Vancouver Public School Board Director, Sandra Zavala Ortega. Buenas tardes. So before I get started, I started something last year, my first term. I'm gonna take a selfie with all of you. <laughs> Today is the end of a new beginning for each and every one of you. There are always going to be moments when people will try to clip your wings. Some days you are going to be made feel like you are not good enough. You must remember that this has nothing to do with being smart enough or worthy enough. Don't ever stop being great. My hope is that you go forward in your life and be your own light that will light those around you. Don't let anyone hold you back and dictate who you will be. Be true to yourselves. Your values speak out and be different. Find your community anywhere you are. Hoy es el final de un nuevo comienzo para todos y cada uno de ustedes. Siempre habrá momentos en lo que la gente intentará cambiar, cortarte las alas. Algunos días te harán sentir que no eres lo suficiente bueno. Debes recordar que no tienes nada que ver con lo suficiente y inteligente o lo suficiente digno. Nunca dejes ser genial. Mi esperanza es que sigas adelante en tu vida y seas tu propia luz y que iluminará a los que te rodean. No dejes que nadie te detenga y que dicte quién serás. Sé fiel a sus valores, hable y sea diferente. Encuentra tu comunidad, esté donde estés. Les comparto un mensaje especial a mis familias inmigrantes que vienen de mi lindo México, Latinoamérica, Honduras, El Salvador y otros lugares. Padres, gracias por sus sacrificios que han hecho por sus hijos. Gracias por asgregar sus vidas por una vida mejor. Gracias por el esfuerzo de cada día y cada noche. Los felicito, lo lograron. Estudiantes, Sigan echándole ganas. Aprovechen todas las oportunidades que puedan. Como dijera mi papá, eche, enséñales que ustedes pueden y dos veces más mejor que los demás. Siempre seguirán siendo el orgullo de sus padres, no importa lo que ustedes hagan. I want to share a special message to my immigrant families who come from beautiful, my beautiful Mexico, Latin America, Russia, Ukraine, and other places. Parents, thank you for all the sacrifices you have made for your children. Thank you for risking your lives for a better life. Thank you for every sleepless night. I congratulate you, you did it. Students, keep up the good work. Take advantage of every opportunity you can. No matter what you do in your life, your parents will always be proud of you. Now for the part you've all been waiting for. Ah, como una de las directoras del Concilio del Distrito Escolar, es un gran honor 
ser parte y poder presentarles con los certificados de graduación a los estudiantes quienes completaron sus estudios de preparatoria establecida por el estado de Washington y Vancouver Public Schools. On behalf of the Vancouver Public Schools Board of Directors, I attest and certify that the students presented to you have met the graduation requirements established by the state of Washington and Vancouver Public Schools. It is my honor to accept the graduating class of 2023 from Fort Vancouver High School and confer upon you a high school diploma. Go Trappers! Vancouver Public School District recognizes the path to graduation and post high school success is achieved through a range of learning opportunities for our students. This evening, we're here to recognize and award diplomas to those individuals who have met the graduation diploma requirements. It is our duty as designees of Vancouver Public School District to recognize and award diplomas to this year's graduating class of 2023. Would Bethany Rivard and Jim Stoda please come forward to read the names of our graduates. All right, now, now you can stand up and we can get going. First name, Celestine Maine. <laughs> Sophia Landolt. Alondra Guadalupe Miranda Garfias. <laughs> Sammy Haritonov. <laughs> Angeles Valencia Morales. Tegan Wells. Sergio Tavar. Jordan Peterson. Nancy Aknuk. Maritza Gutierrez Silva. Gavin Dean Alniz. Matthew Strawn. <laughs> Seth Records. <laughs> Jaden Ray Combs.
Jordan Andrews Oldfield. Caleb Svitkovich. Joshua Elvstrom. Mazen Arafat. Angela Gardenia Amador Serrano. <laughs> Ernesto Correa Zavala. <laughs> Kevin Lee Wynn. Andre Canivets. Karina Boykin. Emily Marie Beaver. Dane Cobb. Ezekiel McDonald. Oliver Willard. Maya Rich. Kaylee Myers. Kira Jean Albrecht. Amelia Harris. <laughs> Samantha Edibiapo. <laughs> Montserrat Robles Samaniego. Julia Ojeda Aquino. Alex Webster. Michael Dennis Cover. Wyatt Anderson. <laughs> Diana Makovetska. <laughs> Elizabeth Ann Lindsay.
Haley Oana. Israel Geddes. Madison Block Alexander. Taylor Rose Williams. Devin Patrick Sigler. Garrett Patrick O'Connell. Tyler White. Juana Molina. Ariana Longmire. Ahmad Hariri. Yusef Al Hariri. Jordi Prado Chavarin. Ajene Kayela Neve, Ajene Kayela Neve Hardeman Hector. Jasmine C. Jamison. <laughs> Jocelyn Orozco. <laughs> Myra Lopez Martinez. Wendy Sanchez. <laughs> Haley Marie Hokawana. <laughs> Alondra Ibarra. Xavier Elliot Curtis Matson. <laughs> Vadim Horiuk. <laughs> Roman Ostapovitz.
Truk Do. V. Cal. Andrea Castaneda. Anthony Ture. Irina Nihayenko. Selihom Asayas Habti. Serge Nikonov. Alyssa Jade Martin. Diana Goodishvili. Aurora Marie Peak. Sarai Hernandez Pereya. Manuel Alejandro Hernandez. Elias Miguel Mendoza. Joel Sate. Bridler Santos Chilin. Brandon Lopez. Braden Valendre. Aiden J. Curtis. Noah J. Christensen. Brittany Danira Diego Armenta. Kelly Quinn. <laughs> Julissa Alexandra Singleton. <laughs> Jonathan Ivan Ambrosio Parra. Daniel Alexander Matsabera. Karis 
Zumpano. Grace Alora Peterson. Ariel Mackenzie Miles. Angela Beatriz Cruz Parades. Anthony Nathan Holland. Malachi Clark. Daniel Smith. Alyssa Runkel. Jackie Flores Romero. Nelson Zapeta Rincon. Christopher Reyes Perez. Brianna Ortiz Rubio. Caitlin Delaney Murphy. Seth Flight. Kyle Sigler. Tyron Leigh Ross. Riona Jocelyn Playbook. Naba Wally. Mona Abu Alia. Arena Kosovan. Victoria Tran. Brian Marin. Charisma Rain Osterlo. Juan Esteban Varon Almanza. Gabriella McGuire. Ethan Watkins. Dylan Chad Beesmeyer. Amber Elizabeth.
Elizabeth Rockwell. Akasha Coley. Juan Antonio Cabanas Lopez. Adriana Alvarez Lomeli. Valeria Gonzalez. Elizabeth Stubbs. Melanie Lizarraga Gonzalez. Alexander Flores Vidal. Chloe Stewart. No. Caden Santa Cruz. Edith Julian Pasquale. Rebecca Rodriguez. Makia Smith. John Garcia Hernandez. Data Leilani Sonjani. Eileen Naomi Diaz Romero. Carla Vanessa. Machik Manchu. Yara Garcia Diaz. Samantha Gomez Castellon. Victoria Prozapas. Ola Prozapas. Katarina Prozapas. Tavon Vance. <laughs> Josephine Joy Trepto. Lillian Bell 
more. Bernie Phillips. Kyron Frisk. Rodrigo Morales Garcia. Danielle Catugua. Chloe Winter Whitworth. Emma Angelina McNabb Castaneos. Jane Vang. <laughs> Kelly Anai Avarado Robles. Marilyn Zurita Mendoza. Koraima Medina Tovar. Benjamin Valencia Farias. Jacob Delane Wells. Leighton Cole Cruz. Keenan Winemaster. Caitlin Ann Gillis. Emma Roberts. Natalie Grace Munson. Ella Marie Viers. Alesa Daria Ickert. Safiatu Sise. Caleb Michael Zampano. <laughs> Benjamin okay. Moore. <laughs> Miles Graham. Luke Butterfield.
Ralphie Mata. Malia Ariane Elliott. Chase Wilkerson. <laughs> Ilani. Oh. Aaron Brian Melendez. <laughs> Ilani Renee Baker. Allison Janae Phillips. <laughs> Nicholas N. Munsevat. <laughs> Ava Cudelares. Antonio James Barajas. Okay, okay. Giselle Nesta Rosario. Eduardo Santos Hernandez. Antonio Rodriguez San Augustine. <laughs> Diana Torres Carbajal. <laughs> Serhi Shvorak. Avelina Bratko. <laughs> Michelle Bong Lampon. <laughs> Gustavo Alfonso Pinon Hernandez. Stephanie Alexia Vasquez. Juana Chicas Lopez. Jasmine Juarez. Christopher Angel Lara Besoso. Manuel Josiah Hernandez. Dennis Corona. Ayana Vincent. <laughs> Abigail Cajal. Um, Aviance Shade Low. Michaela Morgan Dacusen. 
Kaylin Marie DeCusin. Viana Zaconi. Arlette Ruby Bastian Avila. Betsabe Felix. Naomi Hernandez Navarrete. Aldo Montiel Rodriguez. Anthony Montes de Oca. Alondra Luticia Mercado Castaneda. Ulyssa Villanueva Garcia. Edgar Sanchez. Jesus Aguilar. Bima Karsam. Saloma Tongeni. Kemalani Miller. Kalissa Duenas. Yulika Reminis. Jaylene Michael. Oswaldo Ugalde Gallardo. Sebastian Andalus. Jose Angel Rodriguez. Javen John Tobes. <laughs> Livingston Pitone Telemau. Wyatt Sanchez. <laughs> Brianna Vargas. <laughs> Veronica Francisca Machi. Allison Ray Gardner. Monica Chex Juarez. Abigail Lisbeth Marquez.
Roberto Fabian Revuelta Lopez. Day Day Andon. May Leah Sperling. Jimena Sadira Valdovinas Sanchez. Justin Bollinger. Christian Wiley. Connor Patrick Campbell. Vincent Jung. Chase Smith. James Hickson. Victor Gonzalez Ramos. James Fields. Abraham Isaac Ramirez. Frank Rangel. Seraphim Cecil. Taylor Elliot Griffin. Morgan Derek Johnson. Marco Antonio Ariola Corona. Belman Yasharevich. Elijah Johnson. Adriel Morales. Lorenzo James Bedell. Angel Sanchez Torres. Salvador Ramirez Barba. Gabriel Banuelos Trinidad. Alejandro Ivan Jimenez Estrada. Donald Darby Jr. Alexis Johnson. Mason Myers. Jaden Del Judas. Victoria Kathleen McCabe. Yahaira Yemenet Baragan Ayala. Teresa Guadalupe Lopez Higo. Sure. 
Hyacinth Bondock. Raymond Chen. Jaden Hayes Alias. Emily Marie Holloway. Isabel Robinson. <laughs> Olivia Ann Grace Anthony. <laughs> Catalina McCallum Ceballos. Maya Faanu. Evan Andres Mendez. Zyla J. Elazar. Alondra Mesa Renteria. <laughs> Ashley Gonzalez Gomez. <laughs> Fernando Aguilar. Samantha Hernandez Avellino. Kevin Gomez Guzman. Billy Kim. Aaron Garcia. Let him go first. Taylor Alfonso. <laughs> Javen Carter. Osterico <laughs> Reckes. Gabriel Mokoyuk. <laughs> Gavin Christian Hanna. <laughs> Alex Rivera. <laughs> Makai Osborne. Trenton James Ackley. Tyler Lance Hollinsworth. Josue Alejandro Kut Celis. Adam Michael Martinez. Joshua Michael Condon. Hunter Boys.
Princess C. Martin Takahashi. Kiana Garrison. Ursion Kaiser. Cesar Batista. Alexis Gonzalez. Diego Torres Guerrero. Lily Chavez. Mia Chavez. Eileen Torres Guerrero. Alina Bonderchuk. Alexis Crystal Downing. Kevin Diaz Ortiz. Ryan Bui. Keaton West. Alexis Stark. Kylie Lang Augustson. Jasley Avendano. Edith Vargas. Neri Guadalupe Ramirez Castro. Marisa Alva Esparza Jimenez. Fernando Octavio Alvarada Rojas. Christopher Guillermo Meza Rodriguez. Jorge Armando Barajas Chavez. Emiliano Moreno Gaitan. Jose Sinai Gatica Herrera. Aaron Leonor Narvasa. Jasmine Marie Nunez. Abigail Cisneros. Diego Vargas Zamora. Alberto Antonio Ruiz Ramirez. Angie Vanessa Samaniego Marcichal. Jennifer Ruiz Perez. Melanie Alexa Vera Gomez. Eduardo Castellon. Eddie. 
Volodymyr Antonyuk. Alona Antoniuk. Dina Nazaruk. Anastasia Mutalapova. Ole Yarmak. Roman Vozniuk. Jonathan Gabriel Cassidy. Yurita Guadalupe Delgado. Aiden Sanchez. Giovanni Valtiera. Alan Lopez Adame. Ariana Duidofa Tobunuena. Asia Babayan. My uh, two speakers I need you to come up to stage. Perfect. This is you guys right there. Who's got first turn? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's lead in together. One. Okay, graduates, we are just about there. Graduates, can you please stand? Okay, seniors remain standing. Now this, this next part is pretty important. Family and guests of our graduates, I ask that you remain 
seated as our graduates exit the amphitheater during the recessional. It, it will become chaotic if you start milling around. We gotta let the graduates leave, okay? The families and guests, you will exit out those doors over there where you came in. The graduates will exit, will exit first though, following their line leaders. And then once the, uh, but I really thank you all for attending tonight and grateful to all of our graduates and thank for all the support that you showed them. Mr. Norris, strike up the band. Thank <laughs> you.